Welcome to the NetSuite training video provided by Triangle Company. My name is Saris Yufi, and in today's video, we will be demonstrating how to manage your accounting periods. The Manage Accounting Period page is where you can find your list of accounting periods set up and rolled up in the accounting period hierarchy in which they belong. And to create and set up your accounting period, go to Setup, Accounting, and then click Manage Accounting Periods. Here you can see all your accounting periods. For example, accounting period for 2021. And the accounting period role provides the structure to organize the base accounting periods for reporting. And base accounting period is typically a month. Now you can set up your accounting period either by clicking on set up full year and this will set up the full periods for the calendar month. Or you can click on a new year only and this will set up the date range included for this year. First, let's set up a full year for 2022 by clicking on set up full year. Choose your fiscal calendar, the fiscal year end, the period format, and I choose calendar month and this set up 12 periods, one for each calendar month in the fiscal year. Choose the year in period name. And when you finish, click on save. The system created a full year by one click. Now, for example, let's try to create only new year. Enter the period name, the start date, and the end date. And choose your fiscal calendar. And now click on save. Now let's collapse all the period. As you can see, we create only a year with no quarters or base period. Now we will create one quarter under 2023 that we have been created by clicking on new quarter only. Enter the period name. The quarter represent three months. Enter the start date. The end date. Choose your fiscal calendar and choose the subperiod of which this quarter is belong to. And then click on save. Collapse all. As you can see, we have been created one quarter under 2023. And now we will create a base period which represent one month under the first quarter by clicking on base period. Enter the period name, the start date, and the end date. Allow users with no GL changes permission to enter non-posting transactions to the period after it has been closed. And the period is adjustment checkbox. This identifies if an accounting period is an adjustment period. On the fiscal calendar, choose the first quarter that we have been created. And then click on save. Collapse all. As you can see, we have been created the year of 2023, then the first quarter, then the first month of this quarter. But the best practice is to use setup full year to generate your accounting period. 
and if you have different fiscal calendar, you can use the filter to switch between them. And you can click on Collapse All or Expand All to see all your accounting period status. And you can also create a new year only or new quarter only or base period from this button. Thank you for watching. This video was brought to you by Trustangle Team.